Hi there, and welcome to another Chaotic Classroom clip. This clip is going to focus on some skills, which means it can be used by any bow person from any grade. In this video, we're going to look at percentage calculations, which sometimes stump our learners a little bit because it's not, you're not used to the idea of having to do math in a life science paper. Now, when it comes to percentage calculations, there are actually three types of calculations. There's a straightforward one where you have to calculate the percentage, and then there's the ones where you have to calculate the percentage increase or the percentage decrease. Now, these last two actually follow the same method. So let's have a look at percentage on its own first. Let's say you have something like a mark. You have 48 out of 60, and you now need to calculate and convert that to a percentage. What you're going to do is you're going to take your numerator and divide it by your denominator and multiply by 100. So basically, you're going to take the top number, divide it by the bottom number, times 100. Plug that into a calculator, and you should get the percentage. And in this case, the percentage is 80%. Remember to add the unit as well. So let's see how they would ask this question in an exam. Now, this example is going to come from Life Science Paper 2, November 2021. It's a grade 12 paper, but it's good practice for everyone. Now, this question is question 2.6, and they say, read the extract below. Researchers have discovered that members of a particular family have high bone density that may be caused by a gene mutation. High bone density reduces the risk of bone fractures. 20 members of the family had their bone density measured and DNA samples taken. Seven had a high bone density. The high bone density occurred throughout their bodies, but especially in the spine and hips. Now, we're not going to do all of the questions. We're just going to focus on the percentage calculation. So number 2.6.5 stated, calculate the percentage of the family members who had normal bone density. Show all your workings. Now here we are going to have to need some numbers. So we're going to circle the 20 members of the family and the seven that had high bone density. So we basically had seven out of 20 that had high bone density, but they want to know how many had a normal bone density. So we're going to have to take the 20 and minus the seven, which will give us 13. And then we have to just plug it into our formula. We take our 13 out of 20, so 13 divided by 20, multiply by 100, and the answer is 65%. And where would you get marks? Well, you would be at marks for saying 13 out of 20, one mark for multiplying with 100, and then one mark for showing your answer. Our next type of calculation is the percentage increase, percentage decrease question. Now here, you're going to get two numbers, and they're either going to go from low to high or from high to low, but the method stays the same. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your second number and you're going to minus your first number. And you're going to put that over your first number and multiply by 100. Which basically means, in this case, you're going to take your second number, which is 24. You're going to minus 17, which is your first number. And you're going to put that over your first number, which is still 17. Multiply by 100. And in this case, you're going to get an answer of 41,18%. So let's have a look at a question, and this one comes out of Life Science Paper 1, November 2021. They give us a table in question 3.2. The table below shows the average rate of blood flow to the skin at different environmental temperatures. So we've got our environmental temperatures on the left, and the average rate of blood flow to the skin on the right. Now there's all kinds of other questions that they're asking in the meantime, but we are only focusing on question 3.2.3, which says... Calculate the percentage increase in blood flow to the skin between 5 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius. Show all your workings. The first thing that you're going to do is you have to identify which number is your first number and which one is your second number. We're going to circle the mark that's at 5 degrees Celsius and we're going to circle the number that is at 35 degrees Celsius. So 4 will be our first number and 11 will be our second number. Now we plug that into our formula. So we're going to take our second number minus our first number over our first number multiplied by 100. And then we get an answer of 175%. And again, it is worth three marks. So there's a mark over there. There's a mark over there. And there's a mark on the answer. I hope this helps. 
Thank you for visiting the Chaotic Classroom.